Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Virgo. It is a general reading. Um, that being said, it may or may not resonate with you. Um, if it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Okay, so <clears throat> something has been culminating here. Uh, and it has to do with working together, building something together. Um, there's been, uh, I feel like there's been a third party uh, or there is a third party or that somebody was keeping one in the dark. I feel like it's uh, that they've had this or been having an affair for a long time. I feel that this is what has come out. Okay. Um, Yeah, something came out of the dark into the light and put you on your guard and made you suspicious that you were perhaps being led astray by somebody, that uh, somebody was pretending that all was not as it appeared. You may have heard a whispering on the wind, um, you know, uh, words that travel uh this could be how you found out uh like uh a gossip or somebody you know saw something heard something for some this could be two couples i have two couples and and they're both couples are currently with their partners because they're all in the upright and so um, King of Cups and Queen of Cups are both here I feel like uh, you could be hiding uh, especially with this card here you hiding as an energy this card speaks to you know keeping something silent, trying to stay in control of your emotions, um, wanting to avoid drama and conflict. Um, and so with the Harlequin, it's like um, you're hiding your true feelings and or possibly you feel uh, that somebody is hiding their true feelings from you can go vice versa. You could be uh, hiding a broken heart behind that mask, pretending all is okay when it's not. It may require a lot of strength on your part to continue um, each day in this energy, each minute. Um, you're looking at the relationship and you are suspicious i feel it's like the snake in the grass um as the snake uh offers the coin you could be wondering uh what again somebody's true emotions are um you could be wishing to turn back time because you want to go back to when things were easier before all of this happened. So it's like wanting to turn back time. Yeah, um, wanting to escape the reality of your situation. I feel uh, like there's a lot of anxiety uh, again, there's a lot of melancholy also, um, thinking back, wanting to go back, wanting to uh, run from the pain. Um, here's the decision. <clears throat> it's almost like a, uh, there's a decision that needs to be made for the future. Um, 
there's a lot of anxiety over this decision. It has to do with uh, moving uh, um, to a calmer shore uh, or a calmer place, um, but um, taking, it's like someone has taken the memories with them in this new start. So it's like a decision to stay in a, uh, in this uh, in this um, relationship. That's what I think it is. It's like, can I? Am I able to do this? Could we uh, fix this? Could we bring this back to life? Uh, would they or can they um, end this affair and leave this other person behind? Uh, will they? Will they make a choice? Will they choose me? I mean, it's it's just like there's a lot of things going through your mind. You're worried that they're going to uh, sacrifice you. You feel like the sacrificial lamb here. So uh, you feel like they're going to sacrifice you for someone else because this is a card of cheating. That's a card of double dealing. Someone double dealing. Someone having to explain. So, I mean, it could be that something they were keeping in the dark for a very long time because you've been with this person most likely a long time married or like a marriage um or just in a relationship for a long time and um there's a lot of information in that trunk and something has that you see now the trunk is open and somebody's holding a piece of information that was hidden and with the dog there, it has to do with faithfulness and loyalty. And that's exactly what this golem is talking about. Is talking about uh, somebody's faithfulness and loyalty being in question. We have a third party card up here. Yeah. So we'll move these here. So you're feeling, um, you could be feeling in the dark. You could be feeling very afraid with the moon being here and the moon is also on the dice. Um, it could be, again, uh, you're very afraid about something that has come out of the dark. Something... Uh, something maybe you didn't want to look at and it's now kind of forced out into the open. I mean, it could be you've had your suspicions, um, but maybe swept things under the rug, possibly. There's a news that brings clarity with regards to uh, a situation maybe involving this red flag uh, that you've uh, discovered or seen or heard about. And it makes you very upset. What the news you receive makes you very upset, and you may be um, wanting, you want to confront this person to get the truth with regards to the news you've heard. But you. You want to confront them, you're upset. You know, you, um, you're upset. But you're trying to keep, uh, uh, keep these emotions under control. Um, you're looking uh, at signs. It could be that... <clears throat> 
if you have already had a discussion about this with this person, it could be that that person um, has already promised to let the other one go. Because you're looking at signs as to here in the future as to whether or not they did release a third party. So I kind of feel like there was possibly a conflict here having to do with that red flag, with whatever came out. And maybe you gave them an ultimatum even, you know, I mean, choose, it's them or me. You want to have faith that, that they, uh, that they did what they said they were going to do and release the, the third party and work on this relationship. You want to have faith. It's like maybe you kind of feel like you have no choice but to continue here because you love this person um, and they are a soulmate here. Somebody was juggling. I see that there is a making up and somebody's trying to bear to uh, bury their pain or somebody is thinking of this makeup and wondering if they can get past the pain of what has happened. I still get like you're wondering if they if they dropped that third party. This is something that's causing you grief that you're trying to bury the pain for is that third party. So you're still with this person. Your person could have been seeing somebody else who was also in a commitment, was also married or in a marriage-like situation. That's what I think that this is, that your partner was in a long-term relationship with you and they were having a long, uh, kind of like a long-term affair with somebody else who was also uh, married, is what this is. You're looking to the future, and this has to do with their cheating. And you're wondering. <laughs> It's something that, that's just lingering, staying. It's like you can't shake it. You're wondering if they're going to cheat again. You're wondering if uh, this person has been uh, released, the other person. You want to get this relationship back on its feet. You want to put the effort and you have faith or you're trying to have faith. You're hoping that your partner will also put the effort. I don't see this relationship breaking up um, because my cards are in the upright. My people are in the upright. I, don't, I do not see uh, that this will break. I feel like you continue on uh, here to try to work on the relationship. But I also feel a lot of anxiety and worry. As to, you know, I mean, the trust has been broken, clearly. So indeed, you may put that smile on your face and pretend to be happy and behind uh, the mask, I, I feel like you're going to carry that heartbreak, but try not to let it show. That's um, because, you, you know, trust is not regained by a few words. It doesn't happen overnight. 
this is going to take time. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings.